Welcome. You've got a lot of news in your release this morning in addition to your earnings, uh, particularly about your COVID vaccine. Let's start with the six-month results that you have um, showing 93% efficacy is durable all the way out to six months. You know, we just saw data from Pfizer showing that their efficacy at six months drops to 84%. Are you saying this is sort of directly comparable and Moderna at six months stays at 93%? Yes, good morning, Meg. Indeed, we're very pleased to share the final analysis of a phase three at 93%, which shows very good duration of efficacy. Uh, if you think about it, uh, the studies were done at similar time. They were done you know, in similar design with the same variant circulating in the US. Uh, so we're very, very happy about that duration because that's what's really important to protect people. Well, of course, there's been so much talk about the need for booster shots, and we are already seeing multiple countries making plans to give them. What's your expectation for what we'll see here in the US when people might start to need and, and to get boosters? So I think there's a few things to think about. One is, of course, duration of protection, when people have been vaccinated first and with which vaccine and how is that vaccine holding on in terms of efficacy. And then, of course, there's a variant because, you know, Delta is a very different virus than the virus we had initially designed in all of the vaccines. And so it's important to think about boosting. We're also sharing this morning and we're going to review the data on the call uh, at 8 a.m. and we're going to publish in the coming days we have shown with the Moderna vaccine that if you give a third dose of the same vaccine that is currently used in the US, you actually see a very important increase in geometric mean titer, the, the quantity of antibodies. For a beta virus, the one first identified in South Africa, you get 32x increase between second dose and third dose. For uh, the gamma, the P1 in Brazil, you get 43x. And for Delta, which we care a lot about, you get 42x. And so we think the boosters are going to be very helpful to keep people safe for the long term. Uh, but of course, it's for the public officials to decide what to do and when to do it.